Hey everybody, welcome to another video for the Cluck and Bell Raid. Uh, today's video will be covering uh, disorganized crime. And uh, this is the last one before the finale. So let's get over to uh, the police station where Vincent's at over here and uh, let's get it started. And uh, with this video, with this organized crime, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, first we got to hack a couple vans and then we got to go to a warehouse and sabotage some trucks and, whoops, still some CCTV camera video and, uh, figure out if we want to go in, uh, guns blazing or, uh, silent and sneaky for the finale. Um, I usually choose the silent and sneaky just because it's a little bit easier to do. So let's get started. Okay. Time to hit up the Clucking Bell outlet on Innocence Boulevard. I'll brief you on the way. Got that device we stole from the tower right on here. Because you needed to hack the vans. Why don't you bring that? Look out for a uniform to help disguise you and yourself while you infiltrate the garage. Okay, so two vans. Um, let's get up close and then hit right on the directional pad. Uh, you can kill the guys and steal the uniform, but not needed. Oops. And I generally don't shoot at these vans just because there's a chance you can blow them up and if you blow it up before you hack it, it ends the mission. Alright, so you want to go in with the silent weapon if you want to keep it silent and sneaky. Alright, so for these guys in this room, if you uh, shoot the door open, it'll expose this guy over here. Well, the right side door. If you do the left side door, it uh, doesn't help.
Oh, and uh, definitely grab a drill when you walk by one. There's uh, four different spots where you can grab drills from, so... Okay, so there's Silent and Sneaky taken care of. Uh, when you do start drilling lockboxes, though, sometimes a couple more guards will come out, so just keep an eye on your mini map for those. And then definitely grab the CCTV camera uh, footage, because if you don't, then they'll know you're coming, because they'll be able to review the footage and see you killing everybody. And then, of course, sabotage the trucks. Just stand by the front and hit right on the directional pad. Um, you can blow them up, but then that alerts them, and then they know you're coming. But, like I said, silent and sneaky is usually the best way to do it. Alright, so once you start drilling, just keep an eye on your mini map. See, there they come. There we go. One more guy. Alright. Oh, there's two more guys then. Okay, I start drilling now. And we shouldn't be bothered anymore. And you do want to drill out all four locker sets, because as you've seen, I just grabbed a bag of money, and uh, there's the key card. But you want to drill out all of them so you can get a little bit of extra cash. Um, that's up to you, or you can leave as soon as you get the key card. Oops, forgot to turn off my notifications while I was doing the video. That's okay, though. And uh, usually when you're doing this solo, um, by the time you get to the fourth set of lockers, there's usually nothing in the last set. But if there's four people with you, then there's bags of money in all four sets of lockers. But we'll drill this last set just so I can uh, show you. Oh, wow. They may have fixed it then. There's actually something in there. Okay. Wow, two bags. All right. Good thing I decided to drill this last set. Three bags. All right. Can't count how many times I've drilled this last set and got absolutely nothing. But it might be because I started to drill it before um, the guys came out and then got backed out of it to kill the guys. So, 
Yeah. So anyway, once you get outside, there'll be a truck waiting for you. And that'll be your uh, entry for the silent and sneaky. Just takes a minute for it to hot wire. There we go. And just basically you drive it back to the lockup. Nobody comes after you, so you don't have to worry about uh, enemy vehicles or anything like that. So um, the way we did this setup is um, how you want to do it if you want to do the silent and sneaky. And like I said, if you want to go in uh, with them knowing guns blazing and everything like that and guys constantly spawning in, uh, that is one of the ways you have to uh, do it for the career tab. So you have to do, go in both ways. So. Um, but like I said, the uh, silent and sneaky is the uh, easiest way. Because if you uh, can keep control of uh, the alarm not, and let, not let the alarm go off during the finale, um, no more guys respawn in. Once you kill all the guys that are in the warehouse, that's it, you know. Um, but if you go in guns blazing and uh, they know you're there, then they constantly spawn in throughout the entire mission and uh, all the way up until where you grab the stuff out of the safe. All right. So that pretty much covers that video. Um, and that, uh, that was Disorganized Crime, and um, hopefully I helped, and if so, please hit that like button, and if uh, you want to see more videos, definitely uh, subscribe. Okay, so that pretty much concludes it, and thanks for watching.